Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's show, DIY Fails, Comic Tales of Home Improvement Gone Wrong, or the realization that some things are better left to the professionals. We've all been there, haven't we? Armed with a YouTube tutorial and a misplaced sense of confidence, ready to take on the world, or at least a leaky faucet. So I decided to repaint my living room. How hard could it be, right? Cut to three days later, I'm covered in paint splatters. The room looks like a modern art disaster, and I'm pretty sure I've developed a new allergy to the color teal. Next, I attempted to put up a shelf. Just a simple shelf. But somehow, by the time I finished, it had become a modern-day leaning tower of Pisa in my living room, holding on to dear life and my cat's judgmental stare. And then there was the time I decided to fix the toilet. How complicated could it be? I'll tell you. It's like defusing a bomb, but with worse consequences if you get it wrong. Now, I have a newfound respect for plumbers and a toilet that occasionally whistles romantic tunes. Ever tried changing a light fixture by yourself? There I was, thinking I'd be basking in the glow of my accomplishment. Instead, I was in the dark, both literally and metaphorically, flipping every breaker in the house, trying to figure out why my new chandelier was more like a chandelier. Then there was the great idea to lay new flooring. How difficult could matching patterns be? Spoiler alert, it's like trying to solve a Rubik's Cube with your feet. My living room now has a new feature. A mosaic that not even the most abstract artist could have envisioned. Who knew installing a doorknob could unleash the Pandora's box of home improvement? There I was, tool belt on, ready to conquer. Fast forward an hour, and I'm locked in the bathroom, yelling for help through the door I can no longer open. Hanging curtains should be simple, right? Wrong. Now I have more holes in my walls than Swiss cheese. And the curtains still don't hang straight. It's a new form of modern art. Call it the struggle of drapery decided to wallpaper the bedroom for a touch of elegance. Turns out, the only thing I touched was the adhesive to my eyebrows. Peeling off wallpaper is one thing, but explaining your new eyebrowless look at work is a whole different level of DIY disaster. Ever felt bold enough to tackle plumbing? I thought I was reshaping my bathroom's destiny. Instead, I ended up turning my entire apartment into an unwanted indoor pool. Diving into DIY plumbing is less making a splash and more flooding your life with regret. Try to install smart lighting to make my home smarter. What I didn't anticipate was creating a sentient being that turns off the lights every time I enter a room. I'm not living in a smart home. I'm living in a home that's smart enough to play pranks on me. So, my friends, what have we learned from these DIY disasters? That sometimes the best tool we have is our phone to call a professional. Thanks for joining me in this comedic journey through the trials and tribulations of home improvement. Remember, every failed project is just a story in the making and a lesson in humility.
let's keep our sense of humor as sharp as our tools. And maybe, just occasionally, let the experts take the lead.